Well, first off, uh, what's the situation with uh, Seth Biden right now? How's he doing? Uh, I guess it'll be wait and see. I honestly don't know. You know, um, I, I couldn't see the hit from the bench, and you know, and then they looked at it, and they didn't see that it was deemed as a as a a, a major contact to the head. So I'm not sure exactly what happened. I think he got tangled up and then ended up going into the boards awkwardly. So I, I actually don't know where where he's hurt. If it's it's I, I believe it's somewhere upper body. I just saw him when I walked in and he was in his street clothes and I asked him how he's doing. He said I'm I'm doing all right, and just a little sore. So I guess it's a probably day to day situation. What was the difference between the team in the first period and the second period? You you were coming up two two tie. Then you decided to break away from Lake Superior State. Probably has a lot to do with Lake Superior. You know, uh, we we got off to a good start again, and, and we scored early, and then and then they went bing bing, and now we're chasing them. Uh, and then Chris Collins scores a big goal, and so so I think the first period Lake Superior came out and played played really well, and and was was coming at us uh, probably harder than they did last night, and uh, so we had to weather that and, and, and adjust. And then in the second, we we tried to just calm our guys down and and get them to understand that if we do. The things we talked about doing in order to be successful, if we do that, uh, we'll give ourselves those opportunities, and, and opportunities being offensive chances. So uh, the guys did, did a good job of it. Obviously, tonight was a different game in that you know there weren't, weren't as many penalties, so that, that certainly allowed us to play uh, more players early. Unfortunately, we had some guys, you know, Scardina got hurt too early, and, and, and so did fighting. So we were down to 10 forwards there for a little bit in the first period, and then thankfully we got Scar back. and. Uh, but I think the difference was we just we just kind of settled down and, and we said that you know Lake Superior is going to play hard. We know they're coming to win. This is they're a, they're a proud program and they're going to play well. So our guys just settled down and, and adjusted. I think. Christian Silver today allowed two goals in the first, nothing in the second, nothing in the third. Just what was his composure like this game? You know he's a he's a he and Zach are are a little bit different in their approaches and, and how their focus is. You know Christian's just learning. Uh, what it takes at this level, uh, you know. And those first two goals were difficult goals. In the first, they were they were line rush goals, and they, you know, made a play across the front of the net. And they, you know, there really isn't anything he can do there. Uh, we put him in a tough spot by some some things we did on the other end of the ice to allow them to get the rush and then have numbers coming back. Uh, but I think his his approach and his his uh, you know he he's a good goalie. You know, we have good goaltenders in our program and and. Uh, I think we settled down, and that allowed him to settle down. Because you know, Christian's a big, big kid that takes up a lot on that. And if he's going to be able to see pucks, he's he's going to save them for the most part. Coach, obviously uh, yesterday you were frustrated with the, the amount of penalties, and then today the team took a lot less penalties. Were you satisfied with how the execution of that? You know, I want us to do whatever it takes to to give ourselves the best opportunities. And and so we, you're right, we did take less penalties, so that's a good thing. We talked about some things that we need to clean up tonight and, and discipline was was one of them uh, you know I I, I understand the, the, the call um, on Chris Collin the charging call uh, if you look at the big picture you know Taylor Schneider made a real good no excuse me before that Sam Craig's makes a, a hit that causes a turnover for Alex Barber's goal um, if you're on the other side of that maybe you think it's an interference or borderline whatever um, and then Taylor Schneider makes a really good clean hit behind the net, and then Chris makes his hit. So it's kind of one of those things as a, as a referee, you're probably trying to calm things down because the crowd was into it. And, and so I didn't think Chris's charge there was, was undisciplined. It was a good, good hit. Um, and then, you know, the, the one I didn't like was, was Chris's penalty late. I, didn't, I haven't seen it on film, and I didn't see it live. But um, if their player was in a vulnerable position, there's, there's no, that's what frustrates us. But we were, we were happier with our discipline all around. KP? Yeah, I was just going to say, were you impressed with, you know, Alex gets the goal late there to seal it, but were you impressed with their ability to kind of handle the, the puck control of Lake Superior State, especially the first two minutes of their extended power play there? Yeah, you know, that we, we weren't sure if they were going to pull the goalie right away or eventually they, they, they did. And, and so, you know, it's 5 2, and stranger things have happened, right? There's, there's still plenty of time. And, you know, they get one power play goal, they start to believe, and then they, you know, maybe you get into a situation where they, they, don't, they don't pull them right away, but then they pull them later, you know? So, but for us, we, we did a really good job. The, the Kirk, Coach Carr had a, had a good plan and, and, uh, with, with the penalty kill tonight. And, and we ran a lot of guys through that PK, and they did a really good job. And then for Alex to seal it, you know, we told our guys, listen, the goalie's out. Like, you know, obviously we can't, 
we can ice it and they won't call icing so you know go for it and, and, and thankfully we we forechecked the puck when we weren't sure we really wanted our guy to and then it ends up all three coaches said on the bench do we want him going there and we're like no and then all of a sudden oh yeah it went in that's good you know so um one of those kind of things but uh they, they did a really good job there and for alex to get that uh was good and we and we had a lot like i said a lot of guys go through on that pk there so that was that was a, a positive for sure that's such a huge bounce back from last week I mean, you guys wanted to focus on yourselves this week and what you could do to improve what you needed to do and, and did you feel like you made those steps from a disappointing weekend last weekend to now an impressive sweep this weekend yes we we, we definitely needed to pick ourselves up you know and, and you know we got we got uh humbled last weekend and we 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 you know, took it on the chin, and so our, our, our focus this week was come back, and, and again, we're jumping right back into league play and, and a series, and, and going into the weekend, I believe that we both had the same conference record, so this is a big, you know, two-game swing, you know, uh, we get six points, they get zero, so that's a, that's a nice weekend for us, and so for us to come back and play the way we played against a team that's, that's, that's had a good year and had, is, is building, and, and, a, and not an easy team to play against by any stretch, they're uh, they have a, a, a real firm identity of who they are as a team, and and uh, for us to play the way we played and, and have so many as many guys as as we did get involved and play well this weekend was definitely a positive and a, and a great bounce back. Nothing. Okay. <laughs> That's it. All right. Thanks, guys. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. We'll see you in a couple weeks or Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs>